U.S. Farm Report is brought to you by Tendovo Soybean Herbicide, raising the pre-emergence bar one clean row at a time. Dairy is a sector of ag that's been labor tight for decades, and now with immigration and border issues, it's a topic getting even more political. But according to Jackie Klippenstein of Dairy Farmers of America, the only way to possibly make meaningful change may be to stop talking about it as an immigration issue. I believe we need to separate the issue of immigration from farm labor because when we talk about immigration, it's very emotional for a lot of people and it means something different for everybody. In, in, in dairy and in agriculture, we're looking at trying to find people that want to come work on our, on our farm. It's a different story. It's about visas. It's about making sure we've got folks on the operation who can deliver the nutrition that consumers want. It's not an immigration story. Well, dairy farmers are having to get creative in how to attract and retain employees. Just take Wisconsin dairy farmer Kitty Grinstead as an example. There's not one single ingredient to um, retaining and, and um, keeping employees. It takes a big mixture of a lot of different ingredients put together. From a rideshare program to also cooking hot meals during their busy times on the farm, Grinstead is trying several different things. But one of the most successful programs they've implemented is helping employees beyond the farm. I think so far my favorite has been the English classes. Something brand new to the farm that we started was um, offering English classes and seeing the teamwork, the excitement, the enthusiasm of the employees working together to try to learn English has been awesome. With 30 employees, she says 23 have signed up to take the English classes they're now offering and she says the lessons are already paying off. One of our employees, uh, the next morning I, after I popped in the class, um, the question was, what was your zip code? So I asked him the next morning and he replied exactly what the zip code was. And I was like, oh, that's wonderful. And I said, are you learning a lot? And he said, every single day. And it gave me goosebumps because I truly knew he meant it. And he understood what I said, which is huge. It's the little things that can pay dividends in the end. Thanks, Katie. Well, that does it for U.S. Farm Report this weekend. Thank you for watching. Be sure to tune in next weekend. We're back in the studio, finally, and we'll work to build on our tradition. Have a great weekend, everyone.